Hey, uh, welcome back to my channel. Today we have an amazing geometry question to solve. We are told to find the area of this smaller square if the area of the bigger square is 64. Now, first, let's try to understand what the examiner is talking about or where the examiner is coming from. Why would the examiner give us the area of a square? All right. Now, it shows that this is going to help us to get the area of the smaller square. So we are going to start from that. That is the first clue. Since you are giving the area of a square, what is the area of a square? Okay. Now, remember that area of a square is equal to length squared. Now, let L be equal to the length of what? The big, uh, the bigger, this thing, bigger square. And let A be equal to the length of the small square. All right. Now, how do we find our L? Like I said, remember that area is equal to length squared. That is it for the big um, square. So our area is already given as 64. 64 is equal to length squared. Now take square root. Take square root of both sides. If we do that, we have square root of 64 is equal to square root of L squared. Okay? Now, remember that square root of 64 will give us plus or minus 8 is equal to this. We remove this. We have L. But because we are talking about length, length cannot be negative. Therefore, our L is positive 8. So we have the length of the square, the bigger square to be 8. That means from here to here is 8. Okay. From here to here is another 8, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, I want you to note that there is a reason why we are giving this semicircle. It shows that it will also help us to get the value of the area of this smaller circle. Now, when you look at this semicircle, the only important thing about a circle in an equation it always lies in its radius. So let's find the radius of this circle, okay? Now, if you look at this, if we call this the center, okay, this is the center of the circle. Now, that means that from here to here is 4, and from here to here is 4 right this is the center of the circle from here to here is four and from here to here is four because the whole length is eight now remember that any line you draw from the center of the circle to each circumference is the radius of the circle so now let us draw this line from the center of the circle to touch this place which is also the circumference and call it r which is the radius of the circle now, let us draw this right angle triangle that we just formed. So, let me clean this. I don't think it's important for now. We have gotten the length we need. So, let's draw this right angle triangle. So, if we do that, this is the radius. Okay. Now, this place is 4. Remember that this is the length of the bigger square, which is also 8. Now, let us get the value of our radius. Remember that using Pythagorean theorem, by Pythagorean theorem, by Pythagorean theorem, R squared, which is the hypotenuse, is, called, is equal to D squared plus D squared. So it's going to be equal to 4 squared plus 8 squared. So, R squared is equal to 16 plus 64. R squared is equal to 80. All right? 
So we are going to keep this aside. Let's write it somewhere that r squared is equal to 80. Now, if you look at this diagram again, you are going to notice that if we draw a line from here to touch this place, this will also be another radius because this line is coming from the center of the circle to its circumference. So it is also the radius. Now, let's call, remember we say let A be the length of the smaller circle. So it means that this place is A, right? And this place is A as well. Now, let us try to draw out this particular right angle. So we have gotten R squared to be 80. So I'm going to clean this as well. We don't need it anymore, okay? Please give us a thumbs up if you're actually enjoying this video. And click the subscription button, turn on the notification bell. If this is the first time you're seeing this amazing channel and this amazing face, okay? Thank you so much. Now, tune in at your convenience. There must be something for you to watch by the grace of God. Now, looking at what we have, let us draw this right angle out. Now, let's draw this out. So, if we draw it out, we have something like this. Okay? So, from here to here will be 4 plus A. From here to here is our A. And this place is our R. So, using the Pythagorean theorem as well, we have that R squared is equal to 4 plus A squared plus A squared. Okay? Now, remember that A plus B squared is equal to A squared plus 2AB plus B squared. So, we are going to have R squared is equal to 4 squared plus 2 multiplied by 4 multiplied by A plus A squared plus A squared. R squared is equal to 16 plus 2 times 4 is 8. So we have 8A plus A squared plus A squared is 2A squared. Now recall that R squared is equal to 80. So we can write 80 is equal to 16 plus 8A plus 2A squared. Now, let's transfer this to this side. If we do that, we have 80 minus 16 is equal to 8A plus 2A squared. So, we have 80 minus 16, we give us 64. So we have 64 is equal to 8a plus 2a squared. Now, if you look at this, you can see that we can divide through by 2 to reduce or to simplify the equation. Divide both sides by 2. So 64 divided by 2 will give us 32 is equal to 8 divided by 2 will give us 4. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now, let us rearrange the equation. Let's rearrange. If we do that, we have a squared plus 4a minus 32 is equal to 0. Now, let's factorize. Because this is the... Because... The coefficient of a squared is 1. We can factorize it this way. All right. A times a will give us a squared. Now, we need two factors of minus 32 that when we add them together, we get plus 4. So, let's start with 2. 2 and um, 16, right? There is nothing we can do to 2 and 16 to get 4. Now, let's talk about 4 and 8. 
yes because if you say 8 minus 4 you get 4 and 8 multiplied by minus 4 is minus 32 so what we are going to do now we are going to take this the way it is and put them here so we have plus 8 and minus 4 is equal to 0 now remember that if you say that a b is equal to 0 this implies that either a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 or both are zeros okay now that means that you can say a plus 8 is equal to 0 a minus 4 is equal to 0 now, if we transfer this to this place, we have A is equal to minus 8. If we transfer this to this side, we have A is equal to plus 4. But you cannot have two lengths for this, right? So how do we know the one that is right and the one that is not? The first thing is that we are looking for length, and length cannot be negative. So this is not our length. The length is 4. Now, the question says we should find area. Now, remember that area is equal to length squared. So, the area of the smaller circle, remember that A is the length of the smaller circle, so it should be A squared. So, this will give us 4 squared, which is equal, equal to 16 units squared. Thanks so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.